Assalamualaikum, my name is Anis of Mpinti Awi. In this video, I would like to present about halal control system in food production. There are three points that are important in halal control system. The first point is halal control point. So halal control point is the step, process or identified point during the production of halal food where there is a possibility of the presence of haram substances which when it is applied, cross-contamination can be avoided. The second point is halal hazard point. Halal hazard point is the step, process or procedure in the manufacturing of halal food at which control can be applied and as a result, the risk of halal food contamination hazard can be eliminated. Next, the third point is halal critical limit. So halal critical limit is the identification of the maximum and minimum values of acceptability that would prevent a product from becoming haram in stages from raw material to the end products. There are three risk factors of halal hazard. First, human resources. People who are involved in halal food production should have the knowledge and understanding of the requirement of halal food. Next, the second point is raw material risk. The raw material must come from halal species animals and do not contain chemicals that are harmful to its body. The third point is processing risk. In the processing stage, cross-contamination of halal food and spoilage could happen which lead to the quality deadline of halal food. In this slide, the processing flow of soy sauce chicken is shown. There are four steps in producing soy sauce chicken from raw material until plating. The first halal control point is applied to the raw material. So the raw material used must be halal species. Before purchasing it from any store or market, make sure to check truly about its origin and how the slaughtering process was done. If the slaughtering was done by Muslim, then there is no doubt about the poultry status. However, if it was done by non-Muslim, make sure they know the criteria in halal sorting process. The second halal control point is applied to the mixing with other ingredients. The soy sauce, oyster sauce or other ingredients must be halal ingredients and have a halal certificate on the packaging. If the other ingredients have haram material, the whole cooking is contaminated with haram material, thus cannot be eaten by Muslims. Next, halal control point is applied to the plate used for plating chicken. It must come from the halal material and clean from any haram material or harmful substances. The control point applied in this uh, soy sauce chicken production is utensils used in the cooking. So the utensil used in food preparation must be clean and good condition. The pan used for cooking the chicken should be washed before use it to make sure there is no foreign substances added in the foods. This slide shows halal critical point and corrective action measure. So the first critical point is the poultry may be contaminated with haram materials. The first corrective action is check if there any presence of haram material in the packaging process. Second, reject the products from the same batch if haram materials are found. Next is non-conformity record table. In this slide, it shows the detail of NCR incident. Now we move on to the soy sauce long bean production. There are four steps in produce soy sauce long bean from raw material until plating. The first HCP is applied to the raw material. Although the raw material comes from plant-based sources, the fertilizer and pesticide used in the planting process could be haram substances. Besides, the plant could be contaminated with non-halal production in the packaging process. Next, the second HCP is the other ingredient. The vegetables are mixed with the other ingredient. During this process, there is a chance for vegetables to be in contact with non-halal that comes from the other ingredient. The third HCP is applied during the plating process. The plating tools should be cleaned from harmful or non-halal materials. The control point in this process is the tools and utensils used for the plating. It must not be contaminated with non-halal or harmful substances such as chemical substances. Halal critical point was applied to the plate since it may contain harmful substances such as chemicals. The corrective actions applied is the product must be rejected if to be found harmful material used. Second, check the packaging process. And third, reject all the products that come from the same batch 
if parameters are found. Now we move to the last part of food production which is ice syrup payment. The beverage production process have three steps which is raw material, washing and plating. The first HCP is the lemon use must come from a halal source where there is no contamination with non-halal materials. Besides, make sure the ingredient used in preserving lemon or display at the store use halal ingredients. The second HCP is the substance of making glass for beverage plating must come from halal substances. The control point used in the production is before you use the fruits in beverage, make sure to wash first to remove any foreign or dust that attached to the fruits. Okay, the halal critical point in this production applied to the lemon itself, where the fertilizer or pesticide used for planting may come from halal sources. The corrective action is the product must be rejected if contaminated with haram materials. Next, check the packaging process and last, reject all lemons that come from the same batches if harder material found.